Hello everyone, it is Rory here at that Eurovision site and I am so incredibly thrilled to be joined by Inger who will be hoping to represent Estonia at Eurovision 2023 with the song Awaiting You, Tere Tulemas. Wow, Tere Tulemas, hi, hi, hi. Hi, uh, kuidas lahed? Oh, väga hästi, very ah, good. Ah, lovely, hästi aita. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. That was incredible, oh my God. Oh, thank oh. you so much. I I, I try, I, I, this is the benefit of having Estonian friends that they can teach you all of these kind of things, it's lovely. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so you will be uh, hoping to represent Estonia with the song Awaiting You, and you've competed at Ace de Lal before a couple of times, so so why why come back this year? You know, um, the previous years has been just uh, so amazing. And uh, but when I go back uh, in that time that that I was really little, uh, I just uh, I think that now I'm just ready. And um, the two years that I didn't went, went, like went to the competition, I think it was really good to me because I needed the growth and I just needed to write some music and just uh, discover who I am and uh, what what is the music that I'm doing. And I, I think this year is uh, probably or hopefully my, my year. I just, I, I feel it. Oh, it'll be very interesting. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> Um, so you're you're right in saying that, you know, awaiting you, it's, it's a lot different compared to Coming Home and Only Dream, which were your previous songs that were in Ace Dilal. Um, were you trying to come up with something different or was it because you felt that this was more authentic to who you are as an artist? Yeah, I think I've like to de develop like the, um, in... Uh, some kind of artist now i i think uh, there have been some development but uh yeah i think like the music is more produced uh the awaiting you is uh i think it's like um talks more about me right now who i am and what kind of music i do but uh i can say that like i think it's not the the only chapter that nah, that 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 is me i think like uh, there's coming more uh some newness cuz uh, you know I, I think we all need some uh, like just growth and just uh, writing some music and uh, at this kind of time cuz it's so important uh, when, when i want to development as an artist so uh, yeah, it, it been, it's been like a crazy a uh, couple of years, but uh, to discover myself, but I think uh, I'm I'm heading there where I want to be and uh, what kind of music I, I want to do. Yeah, and it, it's great to see that growth as well with each song, you know, you're you're developing yourself as a person and as an artist as well, which is so great to see as well, because, you know, when you think of so many people who, who do selections all the time, you'd think that they kind of stick to the same thing, but you're going along like different lines each time, which is quite nice because it shows you're very um, diverse as, as a singer, which is great. Yeah, because uh, at the same time, like this year, uh, spring, uh, I I published my first album, uh, and it was totally different uh, what I like what I did the previous years in Nesti So uh, I think that that was the first time when I actually showed that yeah I'm doing this kind of music uh, now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah I, I, it was like a, kind of kind of a road for me just to discover and see uh, how to do different of styles of music so yeah yeah and and it shows as well i mean i was i was listening to waiting you before before joining into this interview and honestly i was just bopping along it was so great to just like get into it and it's one of those songs you can kind of just like get stuff done to i think which is like a, exactly what we need i think right now so, yeah. so as you're saying we we have like you've got you've got a lot of um variety in your music so who are some of your sort of mu musical inspirations and like because obviously your music is so now diverse. 
yeah. Uh, you know, I've always loved of um, Harry Styles. Oh, really? <laughs> ah. Yeah. I, I, I really love him. I, I love her, his uh, music and uh, uh, like then the the last album that, that was just brilliant. Uh, and uh, I'm just, I, I love the funkiness. I love the, like what he does and uh, I just, it, it, it inspires me. So yeah, I, I really like uh, this kind of like, happy but at the same time it's like um you know it's like grow grown like he's grown as man and uh, i think it's like it fits with the funkiness and colorful and at the same time he like speaks to me the songs like speaks to me so yeah oh interesting and to be fair when you when you said harry styles i was thinking it, it sounds like uh, waiting you kind of reminds me a little bit of like music for a sushi restaurant it that, yeah. in that kind of style where it's very upbeat and you know kind of punchy which is quite similar i think which is a very you know a great song to be you know compared to i think which is fantastic yeah. um so so obviously thinking of uh Estilol and and eurovision as well like what are some of your sort of favorite memories of, of ACLL, either as a participant because you competed or as a viewer? You know, I always uh, remember this time when I, the first time when I went to ACLL and uh, I didn't know about this. And uh, I was just with my ukulele and yellow socks. And I was like the cute there on the stage, but, um, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I love the, you know, the vibe that people and the listeners uh, just like give you. It, it, it's so important for artists. Uh, and I remember that uh, when the ASLR was over uh, 2019, then uh, I got to the LA uh, Music oh. Expo. Yeah. Uh, to just perform and uh, it was just amazing opportunity and and then in summer 2019 I was uh, performing in China and it was just wow like what a year and I was like uh, very thrilled because uh, it was the first time I just uh, got the opportunity uh, to play like international people <laughs> and I was like wow that that means so much to me so I think that that was the time when I knew that yes music is one thing I'm gonna do the rest of my life and uh, I just I just want to see the world and uh, just uh, give concerts in every every country I just that that that, that has been my dream so yeah I hopefully it like goes there <laughs> so yeah it's so important to me because uh, you know uh, I'm not really good um, like speaking with people or just uh, telling my emotions and the music is one thing so beautiful thing to just uh, share with people that that this is what I feel and this is what I felt and and uh, yeah, I think it's it's so important. Yeah, yeah, that that's so cool. And the fact you like you were able to perform in so many different places, thanks to Estilal, I think is a fantastic yeah. opportunity. And again, really helps to sort of grow you as an artist as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's it's uh, so like uh, amazing platform for every like newbie uh, artist. Like it's 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 so. Um, it's very, very like uh, fast platform, but uh, I was really shocked when I got those opportunities. But at the same time, it's really important to like try and uh, see the world and uh, and get to know people more and the musicians uh, all over the world. So yeah, exactly. And and Eurovision is such a big platform for that as well. I mean. What are some of your favorite entries that have sort of been to Eurovision? If you could pick a couple. You know, uh, right now my all time is uh, Maneskin. 
that was just uh, so punch in the face because I like didn't see that coming. Uh, and uh, now they're like so super famous in, in the world. So uh, that's so great that like the Eurovision is so good platform as well, like for musicians. And uh, oh, I didn't remember, I don't remember his name, but the um, uh, Portugal uh, winner. Oh, the, the winner, yeah. um, Salvador Sobral. Yes, yes. Like that was the, another punch in the face because he was so fragile and so like, I, I didn't know that he is going to win, but that was a surprise to me. And, and uh, but at the same time, it was the, one of one of the most beautiful performance in Eurovision. So yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, you've got some great choices there. Honestly, very very varied, which is goes to show how varied as well you like your music as well as making it. So, yeah. um, so you know we're coming up to the the semifinals now of Estilal. Is there anything that you can kind of tell us about what you're planning? Is there any staging secrets that you can tell us, or is it all a secret? You know, I, I can tell that, that there is a kind of show, uh, like, in my performance. So, uh, yeah, it's not like I'm coming up with my guitar and ukulele again. <laughs> so it's uh, very different, very funky. Uh, and uh, maybe, maybe a little bit like... Uh, uh like included with uh, some of the music video things so you will see yeah, but i uh, it's fun and funky and uh it just it shows who i am right now and uh and i hope that this upbeat song just uh, like it's the insp inspiration for people to just dance and just uh, feel very good Oh, I'm excited now. If 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 you manage to bring the balloons in the elevator, I think I'm going to absolutely lose it. I think that was so funny when I saw it in the Nash in in the busy in the video, and then when I so if it came onto the selection, I will I will love it. Like <laughs> so, um, sort of obviously, you know, we're 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 going to jump a little bit ahead now. Uh, imagine, you know, third time lucky, you managed to win Estilal. What would it mean to you? to represent Estonia in, in Liverpool? Oh, it means so much. Because, um, uh, you know, I have a tradition with my family because uh, all in my family uh, are musicians. So uh, yeah, this is the, this is the like uh, uh, environment where I've uh, like grown up. But uh, yeah, we have a tradition to watch Eurovision every year. Uh, I have like a video where I'm, uh, I think, five years old, and I have a microphone, and then the Eurovision song is, and I'm just mumbling some words, and <laughs> just it, it's so cute. And uh, I think that time when I was uh, really, really young, I just loved the idea that, oh my God, one, one time I want to just go there and uh, sing uh, my song and uh, and from from my country so it means uh, really much to me because uh, uh, I, I know I want to do music uh, all my life and uh, and I think that's a good good environment and a good chance to do just uh, show myself and my music and uh, at the same time just uh, get some new like artist contacts and uh, people who are very like in this Eurovision uh, like contest and and uh, yeah I think it's 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 very good like opportunity to be there oh yeah and as well it's it's great to meet new people get new ideas for music as well it, it's such a great place to to collaborate as well which is fantastic yeah. And I guess if someone was listening to Awaiting You was thinking, oh my God, this is such a good song. I need to check out more music from Inga. What is the one song that you would recommend someone to, to listen to? 
I think my my last album, uh, Higher Self, uh, uh, and the, from there, I think, uh, Lose My Mind or Golden Heart, uh, they're like up, upbeat and catchy as well. And uh, I think it shows the different side of me as well, because uh, now I have a band. I'm not. Oh. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking them on the stage right now. Uh, but uh, this is a really like good uh, start with the band because I've I've done the ukulele or guitar and me like a solo concert so many times. I think it's time to just spice it up a little bit and Ooh. give something new uh to 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 people and listeners so so yeah i think the last album so the first and last album herself and uh, i think they're coming uh, more and more new music so be ready <laughs> oh i'm excited now i have to listen to those as soon as, as soon as this interview is over i'm immediately putting them on my playlist as, no doubt already <laughs> so 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 just as like one final message uh what would be sort of what you'd want to say to our viewers at that eurovision site I'm going to say that um, you are all just amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you very much for this opportunity to uh, do music and uh, go listen to Awaiting You. It's a very good song in a very sad day or a good day uh, to just uh, like upbeat your, uh, your day or emotions. So, uh, yeah, I'm really thankful for everybody and uh, hopefully we we'll see you in the Eurovision. I'll be keeping all my fingers crossed for you. So, yeah, Aita, ya Edu, upol finalu. So, thank you so much for coming on to talk to us. Uh, no doubt, you know, uh, is it the first semi final or the second semi final that you're in? Uh, I'm a se in the second. The second semi-final. Okay, right. Well, I will be immediately watching that and I will keep all of my fingers crossed that you will make it through. Uh, so yes, that was lovely. Thank you so much anyway for coming on to talk to us and the absolute best of luck in ASD Level 2023. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you yeah. so much. Have a great time. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye.